Buying a house is hard. Some people are trying to make it a little bit easier. Let's talk about it on Today in Mortgages. Hey, what's going on, DreamMakers? Welcome back to the show where we're talking about what's real, what's hype, and what you should actually be paying attention to out there in the world of real estate and mortgage news. It's Today in Mortgage, and I've got the expert, the man, the myth, the legend, Rich Jefferson, back with me today. Rich, how you doing? I'm good, sir. How are you? Doing great, Rich. Um, and we are talking about something today that could help some people feel great in their home buying journey. But obviously, we've talked about some of these things before, Rich, with election season coming up. Uh, there's a lot of policy ideas out there, and we like to just kind of see what's out there and uh, track those things to see what sticks. But today, we are looking at something from Housing Wire. It's an article, the title of which is Democrats Introduced Bill to Ban Hedge Funds from Single Family housing market. Okay. Government's getting involved in who can and can't buy homes in the single family market. Rich, what does this mean? Oh, man, I don't know. I mean, they're okay. not lying. They're not wrong. Yeah. Hedge funds own a lot of real estate. In yeah. Let's talk about that first. Like what's the, what's the impetus for this? Well, I mean, they own a lot of single family homes. What would traditionally be your first time home buyer home? They own a ton. I mean, just one company alone in Phoenix, Arizona, in Maricopa County, owns 5,000 homes. That's one. And there are many, you know, like the article mentioned Charlotte, North Carolina, 20, what was it, 22 or 26% of all single family homes are owned by hedge firms, investment companies. So that is a lot of single family residents, which is only driving up the the affordability issue that we have in the United States. Yeah. And Rich, correct me if I'm wrong, but when these companies buy these homes, they're looking to uh, hold on to them for rental properties. Tell, mm -hmm. tell us what's going on there and why that is affecting inventory so much. Yeah. Well, they're, they're gobbling it up. They're even buying blocks of new homes. Some builders refuse to sell to hedge firms, but uh, some, they don't care and they'll sell off of a neighborhood if they can. But they own a lot of property, and those are properties that we really need on the market for first time home buyers. So, obviously, if a hedge fund is buying these things, you and I cannot go out and buy them. And they're able to come in with cash to come in really aggressive to buy these things and turn them around and either rent them, flip them, or hold on to them. And it's part of these portfolios that these hedge funds are building. And it's, it's a big business, obviously but there's only so much dirt on the ground that you can build on. And so when they have a bigger piece of the pie, it makes it harder for everyone else. So talk to us about this uh, proposal that we're getting from some of the Democrats out there. Yeah, there's uh, Democrats in both the House and the Senate that are pushing for this. I think it's called, one of the bills is end hedge fund ownership of homes or something like that. I forget what it's called. I'm sure there's some fun acronym there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, they're, they're proposing all kinds of different things. One, just getting them out of the industry. Over the next 10 years, they want them out of single family homes. Now, that's whether that happens or not, I don't know. But they're talking about a fee of $10,000 per home per year. Um, one of the bills is saying, hey, you need to sell off, you know, over the next 10, 10 years, you need to sell off 10% of your holdings. Uh, or you're going to be penalized. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's so anti-American. But we're in a situation where we need properties on the market. I mean, we've got so many, 70-some million uh, Gen Z buyers coming into the market in the next five years, and there has to be properties. Most definitely. And it is definitely a huge problem. We've talked about it a lot here on the show. We, we will continue to talk about it because it is one of the things that is making things so difficult right now for buyers, along with rates and home prices. But at the bottom of this article, Rich, uh, there's a sub headline that says likelihood of passage is low. Yeah. So let's talk about why this is going to be so hard to push through. Like I said, it's anti-American. Like we... To tell a business they can't buy homes, uh, I, I just don't know how it gets done. I, I just think you need to put more 
obstacles in the way for these hedge firms to buy all these properties. Uh, but I, I think essentially it's going to come down to what are the builders? Who do they want to sell to? Uh, what kind of, you know, the states and the local authorities, the county authorities, the city authorities deciding on, do they want companies owning all these businesses? So it can happen at the ground roots level. I just don't think it's going to be something that's going to happen from the federal government. Yeah, there is. A I don't lot think it should money. be. What's that? I don't think as much as I want those homes on the market, I just don't think it should be, uh, you know, directed by the federal government to sell off all their investments in these properties. Yeah, it's tough when they start getting involved uh, directly into what you can do and can't do as a business. And so this is a big business. Uh, companies buying up these homes and finding a way to make some big money on that. Obviously, real estate is a huge part of the economy and they are tapping into that in a big way. And so, Rich, uh, before we talk about our final thoughts on this, I just want to remind everybody out there, we're part of the best network in mortgages, and we bring expert advice and insights like these and more to our people here inside the network. And if you're interested in learning more about how that could work for you, click on the Grow link below, and we'll direct you to all the information you need to know about being part of the network. Hey, Rich, so... A lot is going on in this. Obviously, you know, we've talked about some different policies that have popped up in the past couple of months. As I could, like I said, we ease our way uh, or maybe not so ease our way into the political reelection season. It says likelihood of passage is low. How important is it for these ideas to keep coming forward for solutions to the problems that we're facing in the housing market today? Very important. We, we have a housing issue. With not just affordability, but availability. So these are the kind of conversations that have to happen. And for people buying homes, this is just a sign that you should own a home. Because if these investment companies are spending, they're coming into to communities and they're paying 20000 more than list to gobble up these properties. And it's not just to have a, an income revenue stream of rental property. It's because they are appreciating so much. It's a great investment for these hedge firms. So just a regular home buyer, if all these big companies are jumping into it, I think I would want to get my piece too. So it just speaks of the strength of the housing market right now. And like I said, it's only going to get harder. So, uh, you know, getting in while we can is the way to go. If you can make that payment, if you can afford the down payment and it makes sense financially for you. So uh, be coaching your people through these things. Go out there and talk to your database about what it looks like, uh, people that have been trying to get qualified. Rich, I mean, right now, rates have dropped a little bit. We talked about yeah. it last week. Um, you know, Fed's meeting today. We'll probably talk about this on Thursday where things are shaking out. I'm sure there's going to be some reaction in the market. But now is not the time, like we've talked about the past couple of weeks, to sleep on December and wait for January. Uh, be out there. Talk to your people. Talk to your borrowers. Talk to your buyers about what's going on um, because there's going to be a window where these things make sense and uh, yeah. things like this um, might help, but uh, we're looking at this because it is a big problem right now. So Indeed. Rich, any final words? No, man, just get out and get after it. If you're looking to buy a home, this is the time to do it. All right, Rich, thank you so much for your expert insights. And thank you everyone out there for watching and listening wherever you are. We appreciate you and we'll see you next time on Today in Mortgages. Mortgages are produced by Network Funding LP, which is an equal housing lender, NMLS 2297. The content of this program is meant to be a commentary on mortgage and real estate news, and any discussion of rates and or products should not be taken as an individual mortgage or home buying advice or pricing estimates. And any commentary on this show should not be considered a promise to make a loan. All applicants for a loan must qualify, and you should consult a professional regarding your individual loan scenarios for your financial situation. Visit our website at nflp.com licenses for all state licensing and other legal information.